I want to I want to get into Purgatory, and you ran out of your car to get a special yeah. special edition of something for the show. Yeah, I did. Um, so it is a book called Purgatory is for Real. It was actually a gift from Catholic Answers. Uh, I called into the show to talk about Purgatory, oh. and we had an interesting conversation with the author Carlo Roussard. And did he uh, sign it? No, I was come on, that. Carlo. <laughs> no, if you're out there, dude. Yeah, if you're out there, I want to come on, honest to God, and sign the book. That <laughs> seriously, <laughs> you all will be forgiven. <laughs> um, but you know, he gets into the Catholics are not the only ones that talk about purgatory. Right. I mean, if you think about it, even Exodus is a kind of an entire book on purgatory, sure, in and of itself. Uh, but Zoroastrians, uh, Buddhists, and he he gives their flavor of how they teach what purgatory is and the pure the you know the purifying aspects of what happens in purgatory um and you know our spiritual leaders have kind of said it just makes sense i mean how would we not go through a purification if you work out it's hard if you um if you're trying to learn something new it's hard if you're going to let go of something that you're really attached to which would be your sin it's going to be really hard right and that's okay well, purgatory is just a it's a it's a purification, right? I mean right. the great thing about purgatory is from what I've heard from private revelations from saints, it's not fun. No. Nope. But it's hopeful. Right. It's good. Dante <laughs> gets really into purgatory in some of the best ways. I love all of his like sin specific purgatorial punishments, right, that take mm-hmm. place. I think is it um, is it envy where the guys are on the very thin board going across the chasm and their eyes are sewn shut and they have to lean on one another and all of these things and support the other or reliant. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds right. It's it super right. cool. <laughs> it's super cool. All right. Ben just gave me second Maccabees. So I want to read second Maccabees on purgatory right now. Uh, this is after a big battle, right? With the, with the Israelites. Then under the tunic of each one of the dead, they found sacred tokens of the idols of Jamnia. Right, so they found pagan idols, which the law forbids the Jews to wear. And it became clear to all that this was the reason these men had fallen. So they blessed the ways of the Lord, the righteous judge, who reveals the things that are hidden. And they turned to supplication, praying that the sin that had been committed might be wholly blotted out. Right? And that's scripture talking about praying for the dead. Why do we need to pray for the dead? Because we can, the, the, the dead can gain some benefit for us on their way to heaven. Well, before awesome. before Christ, there was Abraham's bosom, right? Mm-hmm. Which is where the righteous dead went. But hell already existed. Right. So I think the damned just went straight there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I feel yeah. like it's the only righteous thing to do. Heaven had as it, it wasn't open yet until, mm-hmm. you know, Jesus descended from the That's hell. That's why Christ then, descends to hell. Yeah, yeah. It's, he, he brought them yeah. back. Because I think, one, speaking on that, uh, before we get to anything else, um, it's actually heresy to say that Jesus went to the, pains of hell right he went to abraham's bosom to right. take him out which is like the very tip of heaven sure so it's like it's not limbo because limbo is where the um the righteous babies go right right yeah but, well it's not a doctrine of the church but yeah that used to yeah, be yeah. the belief that there was this separate place for unbaptized babies yeah okay, okay. yeah so before christ it was abraham's bosom and i right. think that's where they were referring to. yeah it's the it's the righteous pagans and all of these it's this sort of not place between uh mm-hmm. between hell and, and heaven and it is scriptural which is super cool and i think something that we need to be more more open to talking about whoa hey you made it to the end of the video way to go congratulations good for you that's hard to do nowadays if you have a second could you please drop us a like subscribe and if you really enjoyed this episode go check out our full honest to god this is just a clip there's so much more to this <laughs>